Hi guys, it's me Jem, and in this video, um, I'm going to give you five tips on how to sustain your photography business if you want to get into the photography business. So before we begin with our topic, uh, let me just tell you how I used to do or, or how I used to market my business. So before, uh, I used to join different um, photography and event groups on Facebook and I would post my business on each group uh, almost every day but uh, it worked for a while but then uh, I started to notice that the market was changing because um, there were uh, there were always these uh, new photographers or videographers that were coming out and it was getting harder and harder to get bookings. So uh, sometimes I would get jobs from uh, my partners like uh, catering services or wedding coordinators or other photographers but sometimes I had to turn them down because my one month was already fully booked. So one day I got kind of burned out and I decided that I wanted to try vlogging. So that's why I started this YouTube channel. But then uh, the jobs were still pouring in and I was still making decent money out of my job. And I realized that um, I must have done something right before that I had these partners. Okay, so let's begin with the tips. Um, tip number one is don't be late. Be one less headache to your client. Um, don't give them a reason to be stressed about you. Um, they may already be stressed about um, their stylist, their coordinator, their catering, or whatever. Um, just don't add to their stress. Being one hour early is always better than being one hour late. Don't give your clients stress by being very difficult to contact. It's also a good idea for you to plan your day, uh, plan your trip. Uh, don't assume things like, oh, traffic's gonna be light today, or oh, the, the guests are gonna go. Oh, the guests are gonna arrive late anyway. Oh, the bride is gonna arrive late anyway. Um, always anticipate what could go wrong. Always expect the unexpected. So number two is always deliver your products on time. Uh, give your clients peace of mind by assuring them that you're gonna deliver your products on this date or this date and if you tell them that make sure that you really are going to deliver the products on that day so number three is a very simple tip but it makes a very big impact on your business and that is to always smile smile at everyone at the party and always smile while you're doing your job don't show the client that you don't like what you're doing. The guests and the client will remember you for always smiling and they will give you positive feedback for it. So number four is always update your clients on the status of their products. Again, it will give your clients um, peace of mind and assurance that they will receive something from you after the event. So you can tell them things like, uh, Ma'am, I'm already done with the video, or um, I'm sending the album off to printing. Um, I'll probably be able to get it in one week. Um, things like that. Always update them on what's happening with you. And as much as possible, um, always answer their calls their messages and don't give them a reason to be worried so um, number five the last tip is really important 
uh, for your photography business. Uh, always try to connect. Uh, make friends with uh, caterers, uh, hosts, stylists, coordinators. But uh, don't do it if you're doing freelance for others because that is very disrespectful. Do it only if you're working with your own clients. So if you connect with other suppliers, uh, if you make friends with them, uh, it's possible that these people will give you jobs. So even if you just want to sleep all day and you don't feel like marketing your business, um, the jobs are still going to come to you because um, you've made a lot of connections along the way. So that's it for this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you like this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.